Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Action Media Reviews. I had posted a couple of shorts and one topic of those shorts was a yard sale find. So I purchased a tote full of G.I. Joe stuff, vintage G.I. Joe stuff, at a yard sale. And in that tote, unbeknownst to me, was a Ziploc bag full of uncut card bags 50 of them so i ended up with 50 uncut card bags this is something that i kept when i was a kid um i ended up cutting out all of the file cards from the ones i had i had let's say i don't know i, had, I probably had a, a hundred or more of these but they were all um from the mid to late 80s uh forward so these these are a little bit older. These are from the early 80s, all the way back to 82, 83. And um, man, there are some really nice pieces in here. Um, like I said, whenever I bought this, I didn't realize exactly what I was buying. I thought that I was just buying a, a tote with a bunch of vehicle pieces and uh, some figures. But I did find these. And I am keeping some of them, but uh, most of them, I'll let you know right now, are posted up on my eBay store. Uh, they are all for sale, except for the few that I'm keeping. Uh, I just want to go through and show you some of the uh, some of the gems. I mean, these these cards have not seen the light of day in uh, in decades. The colors are beautiful, vibrant, bright. Uh, the white, the white's not faded, it's not yellowed. Uh, none of the colors in the printing are yellowed. But um, like we have this that was on top, the Python Patrol Crimson Guard. Then you have the full back to that card. All of these have um, the full back at least intact. Some of them are, are a little bit messed up. This is the absolute worst from the batch. Uh, this is a Python Patrol Copperhead card back, and almost the entire front is gone, but you see, you see that the file card is still intact. And as we, let's see, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to show every single one of these. That would take forever. I'm going to try to keep this video limited to around 10 minutes. Um, you have Footloose, really nice looking uh, peach file card here. Um... This is the triple win uh, variant of this card. I'm not exactly sure what the significance of the triple win card versus a card without it or other advertisements on the card. Um, that's something that I never really got into. I never got into collecting uh, full card backs or variants in the packaging like that. Um, as you can see, there is a store sticker on here i'll show you that that is for a store called 3d uh here where i live we had a 3d when i was a kid for a, a short amount of time that i remember before walmart came into play walmart came in and basically killed uh pretty much everything every uh little private mom and pop store um, killed out a bunch of that stuff real quick, but you know, Walmart was great. Walmart had everything. And this was a division one store. This was just a, uh, Walmart general merchandise, um, department store. They did not sell groceries or anything like that. And then later on, before they built the Walmart super center at a different location in, in my hometown, uh, the Division One store had installed a, a few coolers, and they were selling things like milk and cheese and a few uh, dry grocery items. Um, just I, I guess probably to just kind of test the waters and see if uh, see if the area would respond to it. And I, I live in a small town. Um, we don't have a lot of choices here. Uh, there are two other grocery stores they're not big and they're not great so back to the cards here we have uh, a snow job with a uh let's see what this price sticker is I, I so even mint on card vintage figures 
I love when they have store stickers on the card. Some people don't. Some people think that it detracts from the uh, from the artwork or from the card itself. But I think, um, in my opinion, a store sticker is uh, its character. It's it's where this came from. Uh, this just says grocery two ninety nine. This could have been uh, it could have been something local. Could have been somewhere else. Uh, hex. I'm not really sure what hex was. Um, we don't have, we, I don't recall us having a hex here, so maybe it was a little bit before my time. Here is a, a gung ho price stickers missing on that one. Um, major blood. I don't recognize this store sticker on here, but this is a really, really nice major blood card. We've got a couple dreadnoughts. Uh, we got doc here where doc was actually put on clearance. Uh, for $2.19 at a grocery store, it had originally been $2.99 and was marked down to $2.19. Uh, Torpedo, I've got a nice looking Cobra Officer here. Really nice looking Cobra Officer. It is a 20 back. Let's see, another Dreadnought, that one's Torch. Uh, barbecue, mutton junkyard, roadblock. Uh, one of the cards that I want to be sure and show in this video is a Scarlet, a 1983, 82. It's a V1.5 Scarlet card uh, with the new swivel arm battle grip. Everyone knows that Scarlet is a 1982 originally issued in straight arm. It does have the store stickers up here in the corner. And if you look at the back, something pretty cool is the coming soon explosions it was a uh, this card had a preview for figures that had not yet been uh, released figures that were coming out and uh, my understanding of these from what i've been told these are a little bit more of a rarer card to have those uh, there is a battle gear uh, card back Another 1982-83 uh, V1.5 Swivel Arm card. Now this does have a 3D store sticker. Recondo, Shipwreck, and just the colors and the artwork on some of these cards. It's just absolutely awesome. Uh, Spirit, Lady J. Oh, got a, got a really nice Destro here. the Destro card back. Is this one of them? Yes! So I have another coming soon explosion back here for the uh, Swivel Arm uh, Flash figure. I thought that was a pretty neat card. And here's another one that was uh, reduced from $2.99 to $2.19 at a grocery store. That is um, Airborne. Get through the rest of these here real quick. I uh, got a really nice looking Firefly. Big Blue. How many people watching this video remember the Big Blue store? So I actually got quite a few GI Joes at Big Blue. It was, uh, when I was a kid, I thought it was a, a pretty neat store to go into. They had all kinds of stuff, uh, hardware, uh, utility type items. Um, I think Big Blue was primarily like, uh, like hardware and stuff. But, um, I, I had several figures and vehicle sets. I remember I got uh, Destro's, uh, uh, not the Dominator. Um, I, the name escapes me at the moment. It's the one that raises up. It, whatever. Uh, the Despoiler will set on top of it. Uh, the Demon. No, not the Demon. Man, I can't think of the name for that. Is it the Demon? I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. Uh, I'm inviting you to, so please do. Let me know what that is because I just cannot think of it right now. I got that at Big Blue. Uh, Sears. Sears carried G.I. Joe figures in store. Here's another one from 3D. It's a 1982-83 Breaker. Um, let's see, there's a Cobra Viper. So this is one that I'm probably going to end up keeping. It is... The Snake Eyes 
card back. It is V1.5, 1982, 83. Um, is my, also my understanding that these were released um, multiple years, but that's a cool uh, figure card, I think. And since I have the figure to go with this one, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough to let go, and you know, so I may hang on to it. Uh, Cobra Commander, the V1.5 Cobra Commander. I do have an original V1.5 Cobra Commander, and this was sold at TG and Y. Um, a beautiful, vibrant card, and uh, probably gonna have to keep this one too. Another big blue store, Storm Shadow. This Storm Shadow card is in excellent condition. There's not a lot of uh, paper missing where the bubble was ripped off. The colors, again, are vibrant and clean. The card's actually pretty crisp. <clears throat> no creases or anything on that one. And then you have the uh, Trooper card back. Uh, an 83 Duke. Uh, some later ones. Man, is there anything else crazy in here? Oh, last but not least, Stalker. Yes, Stalker with, un, let's see, that is an 11 back Stalker, 1982. This was a straight arm figure and it was sold at 3D. So this is the oldest, um, the oldest card that I have. And too bad it's missing this whole section here, but all the uh, all the print is present and the majority of the uh, the artwork is present here and just to point out again how crisp and vibrant that artwork is i actually when i got these and realized what i had um i ordered 50 uh top loaders from amazon to fit these i'll put a link to the top loaders in the description for the video and uh, hopefully some of you all can get a good deal on them and, and get some use out of those. I know a lot of people do collect these card backs. But I just wanted to share this with you all. Uh, again, these are, almost all of these, are for sale on my eBay store. Uh, there's a link to that in the description as well. Uh, hit it up. I priced everything way more than what I think it would actually bring. Uh, so feel free to shoot me a message or just send an offer on there and I'm, we can probably negotiate so, negotiate something on these. I don't really, like I said, I don't really collect file cards or full card backs. So um, I would like for these to make it into the possession of someone who can really appreciate them for what they are. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post new videos. Uh, check out the description for this video. There's links to all kinds of Facebook groups and other things that you may find useful. Um, I'll see you all soon. Yo, Joe!